How does the typical consumer choose what they will consume? We know that marketers try to persuade us to consume products and services. But, it, but what if we were not swayed and consumed only what gave us the most personal satisfaction possible? First, we realize that we must choose because we cannot have everything. This constraint on the consumer is called the budget constraint and can be represented by the graph we see here. Let's take Jose for example. He has an income of $56. This represents his budget. Jose consumes two items, movies and t-shirts. The movies cost $7 a piece and the t-shirts cost $14 a piece. The points on the budget constraint line show the combinations of movies and t-shirts that are affordable to Jose. The satisfaction received from consuming things is called utility. In the case of t-shirts and movies, we can see that Jose's total utility for each product increases as he consumes more of it. If we combine the total utilities of both t-shirts and movies, we can see that Jose's total combined utility for each point on the budget constraint is shown here. In order to learn how to best maximize Jose's utility within his budget, we must first learn the concept of marginal utility and how to calculate it. Marginal utility is the additional utility or incremental utility provided by one additional unit of consumption and we can calculate it using this equation, which is the change in total utility divided by the change in quantity. We can see on our table of data that the marginal utility for each additional unit is getting smaller as we consume more units. This is called the law of diminishing marginal utility. Because the price per unit for t-shirts and movies are not equal, Jose finds it difficult to compare the two. That's why we must divide the marginal utilities by the price to allow us to compare the two. Again, maximizing his utility. Again, Jose is looking at maximizing his utility based on his budget constraint. We, cal we can calculate the marginal utility per dollar by dividing the marginal utility by the price. Now that Jose is able to compare t-shirts to movies based on the marginal utility per dollar, he can apply the utility maximization rule, which is that utility is at its greatest if we consume at the combination where the marginal utilities per dollar of each product are equal. In the case of our example, at point S on the budget constraint curve, marginal utility per dollar for t-shirts and movies is equal at 1.6. Another way that uh, might be more intuitive to approach utility maximization is to use the consumer equilibrium approach. This approach asserts that the ratio of the prices for the products, in this case t-shirts and movies, is equal to the ratio of the marginal utilities at the point where utility is maximized, which as we know is uh, point S on the budget constraint line.